Hello my little dumplings and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using a palette that my Patreons have picked for me to use. Um, I put a poll up in my new Patreon group, they are called Kerry's Dumplings. I'll leave a link down below if you want to join, um, just to have a chat in a nice Telegram group with lots of other makeup lovers and it starts from a pound a month so if that's something you're interested in I will leave the link down below. But they have decided that I should use today the Worldy palette. Um, I have used this before, I'm not sure if I've used it in a video before, but it's a Marmite palette. Um, I've seen a lot of people either love it or hate it. I love it, especially the packaging. I know a lot of people hate the packaging, but let's see what we're going to do with it today. This is the beautiful palette for those of you that haven't seen it. If you haven't seen it, where have you been? Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Of course I had to have it because it's got greens and blues and it just looks gorgeous. I've already done my brows and I've carved them out and now I'm going to prime with my Revlon Candid because it's the best for my dry eyeballs. I have had my hair done and um, it's looking a bit ropey at the moment because I've just come out of the shower and dried it roughly. Um, but yes, I will sort it out for the end of the video hopefully. do usually do a lot of green looks because it's my favourite colour eyeshadow to use but I'm thinking today I'm going to mix it up a bit and I'm going to use the blues and the sort of yellowy orangey colours as well. That is the plan. So I think first I'm going to take San Francisco which is the dark navy blue which is here. This is a big palette to lift up. Wow. Um, I'm just going to take it on my Morphe M507 and mark out where I want this to be. I'm thinking I might keep a rounded shape today. It is pigmented, but I'm just trying not to put too much on at once or go too high, which is also one of my usual issues. Kind of see where I want to go so I'm going to take my Disney Ariel Spectrum A26 and go into that San Francisco shade and just pack it on. It blows my mind that there's people that want to be in my Patreon group. I, I've only just made it and I think I've got nine dumplings already and they are the loveliest group of people. We all have a nice chat in the Telegram group I've made. Enable each other to buy makeup, chat about life, have a laugh. I think I'm also going to do some competitions and giveaways in that group because I have got some things in mind that I'd like to gift them should they win. So I've just taken that dark blue and done a fairly rounded shape. I didn't want to take it too high. I mean, it looks quite high until I do this. So I'm pretty pleased with where that is at the moment. I might just take the, a tiny bit onto a lower lash line, just so I know what shape I've got. Okay, then I'm just gonna take the original brush and just wiggle around the edges. So I'm not sure how this is gonna blend out. I have used this palette once before and I can't even remember the colours that I used, to be honest. Probably the greens, knowing me. I've left my red bull in the fridge. 
So it's nice and chilled, it's just quite far away from me right now. Then I'm gonna take Sky High, which is this blue here. Sorry, I'm not even telling you the brushes I'm using. This is the M5S6. I need to collect more of. And I'm just gonna put it half on the previous shade and half where there is no shadow yet, just to start that blend. It almost sounds like I know what I'm talking about, doesn't it? Oh, these blues are gorgeous. They are blending nicely. Obviously, I will go back through the colours like I always do, just to make the blend as seamless as possible, but I am pretty impressed so far because it's not the easiest always to blend out blues. Then I'm going to take Europe, which is this one here, and this is on another M506. And then, on this sort of part, I'm thinking I want to go into one of the greens. And I think I'm going to go into Rodeo Drive, which is this gorgeous tealy colour, which is my favourite in the palette. And it actually matches the brush that it's going to be going on. It's the little things. It is a very bluey teal so I think it fits in nicely don't worry I know the blend looks trash at the moment that's not a problem that was on my spectrum a12 brush by the way I'm so naughty for not telling you then I'm going to take my JS13 and I think I want to dip into a bit of green I'm thinking I want to go into when in Rome which is this green here And I might put a little bit of that one in Rome, just on the very edges of that blue. Okay, because the blend looks so bad, I'm going to go back through all of the shades, re-intensify everything, work on the blend a million percent, and hopefully at the end, it will look seamlessly blended and beautiful. We'll see. Okay, I have put a cut crease on and I'm just tapping over the edges. And I've done a bit of a different shape today. I've gone a lot further down. Obviously, I'm not going to keep it like that. But um, yeah, I thought I'll mix it up a bit. Why not? Sorry, I've just been listening to some very depressing songs. <laughs> so now I'm a bit like, ah. Oh. I think I'm going to start with Vacay, then go into Lounge, and then possibly into Sunset. Um, yeah, we'll see. So first I'll go into Vacay, which was the extremely light sort of chartreuse yellowy green. And 
I've run out of Peterlee's brushes, which I'd normally use to do this because they're all dirty. Uh, so, and what am I actually using? A Jessup 233 cream shader. It's interesting. It's not, it's not totally covering up what's underneath, to be honest. <sighs> and there's a lot of fallout. A lot, a lot of fallout. I don't know if I'm 100% happy with how that's gone on, so I might go over it with a pigment, I don't know. But, um, yeah, it's not fully covering up what's underneath, and cause I can still see sort of blue. Um, yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Next, I'm going to go into Lounge, which is the orangey colour. Oh, it's a lovely orangey, mustardy colour. I love it. I mean, I would class this as an orange. Some people may class it as a yellow. It looks more yellow on my eye. Um, but it looks more orange in the pan to me, who is an orange lover. I love putting contrasting colours next to each other. It is just happiness. Then I'm going to take a little bit of that sunset shade. Oh, that's a nice colour. Oh, yes. Don't worry, I will blend it all. It hopefully won't look this poo at the end. I would hope. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. I do need to let out the out of corner a bit, but um, I'm not mad at that. I'm gonna take a little bit of Europe, which was the blue, and just dab a little. These are not gonna be easy colors to blend together at all, but if I just dab and give the illusion that it's blended, it'll all be fine. Put some massive lashes on. <laughs> The only thing with this palette, the shimmers in here, there's nothing that is a light shimmer. They're all quite dark shimmers. So you've got Jeux d'Or Paris, Global and Destination. And they're gorgeous. But yeah, they're not bright and light. So yeah, may think of putting a pigment on. I don't know. I don't know what the plan is right now, folks. All I know is I wish my Red Bull would walk up the stairs stick a straw in itself so i can drink it okay this is how we are looking so far uh this eye looks a lot better so just ignore this one please this one is the slightly better eye um i feel like i've lost a little bit of the dark blue on the very edge so i'll just go back into san francisco and carefully pat Oh, that was the wrong shade. Pay attention, Kerry. What are you doing? Hmm. I have got a new cake liner from Artitude Cosmetics, which is a small indie brand, and I have found a love for Artitude Cosmetics. I, I really do like their liners. Um, I tested one of them on my live, which should be the video before this one, and I fell in love with it. So I ordered some of the new duochrome ones, and... I ordered the small one and it's in the shade Addiction. And this is what it looks like. I haven't tested it yet and I'm wondering whether to put it around the cut crease. This could be a mistake with this specific look, but I really want to try them. I absolutely love the one that I tested the other day. Oh, you can't get it anymore. It's a shimmery green called Elevate. It's perfection so if they're all like that I'll be super happy I don't know if it's gonna show up I don't know I don't know let's just see what happens I 
Okay, I probably didn't choose the best colour to show up to be honest and I will clean up the front part. Um, but I'm impressed with that, that is just as good quality as the green one that I used so if you can pick up the Attitude Cosmetics liners I would really recommend them. Oh now that's dry. It looks really nice, you're not going to see the duochrome where you are but it's a lovely purpley blue. I'm impressed with that, that was easy to do because um, liners aren't always the easiest to put on but I need to clean up this front part and not actually quite sure what I'm doing with it yet. Shall we do the lower lash line while we're here? So underneath I'm just going to run San Francisco which was the deepest blue and then Sky High which was the one next to it slightly lighter blue And then Europe, which was a lovely powder blue. Then I'm just going to take a clean brush and wiggle. Then I'm going to take a dab of that vacay shade and just pop it near the inner corner I'm gonna go with Milky Way which is a pastel roses pigment that I got from Titmouse Cosmetics love all of these shimmery pigments they are the best I'll link Titmouse down below if I remember pop some of my NYX glitter glue onto a brush and just tap in the region that I want it to be and then dip my brush the same one into the little pot and dab where you put the glue wow wow um are you seeing this I don't know if you're seeing this. Well, that made up for no shimmer, didn't it? I am obsessed. There is nothing more I can say. I'm going to jump off and do my base, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, base and lashes are on. These are the House of Boo lashes in the style Boo and you can get these from Titmouse Cosmetics also. Um, the base was the NARS Soft Matte Foundation and the blush is Mango Daiquiri Blush and the highlight is a mix between Glaze from Beauty Bay and the Spectrum drops that I got in my mystery box. I um, don't know if it's got a specific shade but it's these real nice orb it's called orb um yeah highlights pretty so for lip i'm thinking i'm gonna use my that's not it, my mua lip liner in tlc And then a bit of KVD Marigold. I'm sorry, I don't think you can get hold of it anymore. Debenhams were selling it off. Um, I just love it. I thought it would tie in with the eyes nicely. So this is the finished look, guys. I might sort my hair out before I say goodbye. So guys, that's me done. I 
really like this look. It's actually reminding me of a tropical fish. Are you getting that vibe as well or is it just me? Yeah, I'm loving these colours together. I absolutely love this palette. Um, the packaging isn't for everybody. The palette's not for everybody. But to me, I love it. I'm so glad I've got it in my collection. And I do stand it on my shelf up there with my Secret Sinners palette usually. Um, so I do have it on display. The colour story is so me. Um, the greens and the blues. And especially that teal. That teal is everything. So there you have it, folks. Thank you for joining me on this video. If you could please like, comment and subscribe would mean the world to me. Also, if you are interested in my Patreon, I will leave the link down below. But there's no pressure at all. It just means the world that you watch my videos. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.